Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the sixth video from tensor analysis. In this video, some mathematical operations about tensor will be discussed, such as multiplication, addition, and subtraction of tensor. In case of multiplication, outer product and inner product of tensors will be discussed in this video. And contraction of tensor will be discussed in the next video. Hope you will enjoy this video. Please watch this video till the end. If you like this video, please share with others. If you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for future notifications. Let's start the video. Let us first see what is equal tensor. If we consider two tensors A and B, if these two tensors are to be equal, then they should have same rank and type. Means this the number of contravariant indices and the covariant indices in these two tensors should be same. Also, the corresponding components should be equal. Let's see. In tensor A, the contravariant components are from I1 to IP. In tensor B also, contravariant components are from I1 to IP. That means the number of contravariant components in both the tensors are equal. Also, the first contravariant indices in tensor A is I1, so as in tensor B. The second contravariant index in tensor A is I2, so as in tensor B. Similarly, the last contravariant index in tensor A is IP, so as in tensor B. <coughs> that means all the contravariant components are equal, corresponding contravariant components are equal. Similar is the case for covariant component also. That's why the given two tensors are equal tensors. Now we see what is null tensor. If we consider a tensor of rank R and if all the components of that tensor identically vanish, then the corresponding tensor is called null tensor. That means a tensor whose components identically vanish is called null tensor. Now, we consider some mathematical operations regarding tensor. The first one is addition of tensors. If we take summation of two or more tensors, then the resulting tensor should have the same rank and type of the individual tensors. Let's see that. Let us consider two tensors A and B of contravariant rank P and covariant rank Q. Okay. In BART coordinate system, these two tensors can be represented like these two equations. In previous videos, we discussed how mixed tensor can be represented in BART coordinate system. Here, these two equations can be represented regarding that concept. Okay. If we take summation of these two tensors, then what we get? We see the right hand side. Then the differential portion is common to both tensors. And if we take the differential portion as a common, then we get the equation like that. Here we take the summation of the given two tensors. The differential portion is taken as common. So we are left with the given tensor in unbarred coordinate system like that. The, now we consider the term within parenthesis in the right hand side like this. That means C is the summation of A and B tensor. So in barred coordinate system that summation equation should be written like this, which is nothing but the left hand side of the starting equation. Considering these facts, we can rewrite this equation like this. Here, the left hand side should be replaced as the summation tensor C in barred coordinate system. The differential portion remain unchanged and 
the right hand side term within parenthesis should be replaced by the tensor C in unbarred coordinate system. If we notice this transformation equation, we can clearly say that this is a transformation equation of a mixed tensor of rank P plus Q in which contravariant rank is P and the covariant rank is Q. So, the tensor C which is the summation of the two given tensors A and B clearly shows that it is a mixed tensor of rank P plus Q. That means the summation tensor C have contravariant rank P and covariant rank Q. The individual tensors A and B also have the same rank. So, the postulate is proved. If we take subtraction between two tensors, then we get the same kind of result. Now we consider the multiplication between two tensors. The first one is outer product. One postulate regarding outer product is that the outer product of two tensor is a tensor whose rank is the sum of the given two tensors. Okay, let's see that. We consider two tensors A and B of rank 3 and 2 respectively. Both are mixed tensor here. Outer product of them like this and the given tensor can be transformed according to these two equations in barred coordinate system. Okay. If we take the outer product of these two tensor, then we get the result like this. Here, we just multiply term by term, nothing else. Now we consider A, I, J, K, B, P, Q, the last term of right hand side like tensor C, whose contravariant components are I, J, P and covariant components are K, Q. So that in barred coordinate system, this can be written like this. If we consider this notation, then we get the given equation like the equation within the block. Here, the left hand side is replaced by the outer product uh, in bar coordinate system. The last term in the right hand side replaced by the outer product of in unbarred coordinate system. If we notice this equation, then we see that this is nothing but a transformation equation of mixed tensor of rank 5, whose contravariant rank is 3 and covariant rank is 2. The tensor C is nothing but outer product of the given two tensors A and B of rank 3 and 2 respectively. So, we see that the outer product tensor have the rank which is the sum of the rank of the individual two tensor. So, the postulate is proved. Now, we consider what is inner product. If we consider two tensor whose contravariant index is equal to covariant index of other or vice versa, then the multiplication of these two tensors is called inner multiplication and the product is called inner product. Let us consider two tensors A and B. If J, which is the contravariant index of tensor A, is equal to Q, which is a covariant index of tensor B, then this product is called inner product of these two tensors. The rank of this tensor is 3. Interestingly, in case of outer product, we get the outer product tensor rank is 5. But in case of inner product, we get a tensor of rank 3. Let, let us elaborate in the next slide. We consider A and B are the two, are the two tensor of rank 3 and 2 respectively. Both are mixed tensor. Inner product of them is like this, provided J is equal to Q. The given two tensor can be transformed in barred coordinate system 
like these two equations as in the screen. If we take the inner product of them, then what we get? Interestingly, here we write beta instead of nu. Why? We consider beta is equal to nu. Why we consider this? We see from the definition that this should be inner product of the given two tensor if j is equal to q in unbarred coordinate system. So, if we replicate this fact in barred coordinate system, then we should have to consider beta is equal to nu because beta is the corresponding component of j in barred coordinate system so as nu in case with q. So, if we consider this fact, then we get, we can replace the nu as beta, rest is same. Now, if we consider the second and the last differential term together like this, then what we get? We get a Kronecker delta with contravariant index q and covariant index j. We discussed how Kronecker delta can be represented in tensor analysis in previous videos. We, you can see those videos uh, from the link at the top. Now, if q is equal to j, then this Kronecker delta becomes 1. With this consideration, we can write this equation like this. That means, if q is equal to j, which is the uh, uh, which is the condition of inner product, we consider that and we get these two differential term together as one. So, these two differential term are omitted here, rest three differential term are written and the last one is written here. <coughs> here we consider q as j because q is j. Then we get the Kronecker delta is 1. In all values, in all other values of q, we get the Kronecker delta 0. So, if we consider Kronecker delta should be 1, that means the product of these two differentials should be 1, then we have to consider q is equal to j. So, we write j here instead of q. Now, the last term in the right hand side should be replaced as a tensor C. What is that? Here, we consider the tensor C is tensor of rank 3. So by the method of contraction, which we will discuss in the next video, we can omit the index J. So, we are left with, with contravariant indices I and P and with covariant index K only. So that in BART coordinate system, this can be represented as like this. Here also, beta are the both contravariant and covariant indices in tensor B and A respectively. So by the method of contraction, this index is omitted, rest index are written here. If we consider this fact, then we get the equation like this within the block. If we notice this equation, then we see that this is nothing but a transformation equation of a mixed tensor of rank 3 whose contravariant rank is 2 and covariant rank is 1. So, the tensor C which is the inner product of the given two tensor the rank 3. This is the rule of, this is the result. So, in case of outer product, we get the outer product of rank 5 and if we take the inner product of same two tensors, then we get the inner product of the inner product as a rank 3. Here, we use a method of contraction. So, we can clearly say that there is a relationship between outer product, inner product and contraction. In the next video, we will discuss about contraction in detail and also see 
this relationship so please wait until the next video thanks for watching this video if you have some queries or suggestions then write in the comment section below your comment will definitely help me to improve my future videos